Hi guys, on to the third episode of Season 2 of the Hull City Career Mod. Alright, let's get this underway. You know, we've got the Arsenal here at the KCOM Stadium. So let's see how well we do here. Sturridge already got the ball. Oh, takes it back. Piera. Oh. Arsenal playing a slightly weakened side, if you see. Like, it's still good enough. Like, a lot of our players would still go into our team, but like... Oh. Dunhamans, if you watch the Getafe series, you'll know about him because he's only, the only sign we've made so far. Uh, but some news about the Getafe series um, Grant sadly had to pull out because it's not the right thing for his channel at this current moment in time. He prefers to do match day vlogs. Still, go check out his channel and the links in the description of the first Katavi video but it just it's a good thing for you I guess because it means you'll get more content and you won't have to spread across both channels I don't know that was just a little update I had to add because I wasn't going to make a whole video about it so yeah I'll probably talk a little bit about it during the Katavi video or I might just not talk about it but at least you'll know in this video um, but Arsenal are playing a bit decent you know making sure we don't get in Durmaz was uh looks a bit key there. Maitland Niles is also playing, so I don't know if Arsenal have had like a gut out of like loads of their players or they've really just underestimated us. But we'll find out if they underestimate us or not. Oh cuts back. Who's gonna take the ball up here? Brahimi. Brahimi Brahimi gets a goal against the mighty Arsenal to make it 1-0 to the Orange and Black Tigers. Ah, oh, that's brilliant. Bad mistake from the defence. No able to cut him out. And he just cuts in as we one on one with the keeper. I think that was Kishelny. They're playing Kishelny and Rob Holden, so there's not even Socrates. Might have been so, don't know. Because I've not really been paying attention to like the rest of the transfers. The rest of them I've not really paid too much attention on. But oh, Hutchinson has left his man behind. Brahimi looks across in. And start it! Y you what? <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, oh, I thought we were 2 0. Oh, if we, if if we, if it ends in Tron now or like Arsenal win it, like two one, I'll be gutted now. Will there be a replay of what just happened on the post? Uh, he oh no, it's just the goal. Yeah. So probably never showed the thing, but Sturridge missed his chance there. You know to try and. Make it 2 0, but oh, Durmas. Oh. Well, um, I think Durmas was a realistic sign in for the Getafe thing, because I realised in this January transfer window, Getafe have signed a player with similar stats to him in FIFA, like same rating, very similar stats, but I never knew the player existed. I only signed Durmas because he was a winger, so he had a bit of pace about him, who is now a cam. Which means it's like good to have because their midfielders were quite slow at Getafe. Uh, oh, Sturridge has a chance to try and redeem himself. Oh, and he does it wonderfully, sticking it right in the corner. He picked the corner, and he's done it. This is some world class difficulty, by the way. If you are wondering, but I don't know how we're winning two 0 against Arsenal. The game we had in the cup last season was much more competitive because we scored one, they scored one, you know, keep going back and forth like that. It was a really high scoring game, but this... It seems a bit one-sided. I thought Arsenal would bring a bit more, you know? I would have had a wee occasional play, but I feel like they're regretting playing a slightly weak inside. I don't know who they have on their bench, but I know their main team, the starting 11, is not a strong team. Mkhitaryan plays a great ball through Maitland Niles. Oh, I thought he scored. That was like, oh, he's just like giving that in. But never mind. All right, play the ball quickly. Piera, Piera, Piera. Uh, 
Bowen, Bowen, Bowen. Thought Johansson could have nicked one there near post, but no to be. Well, so Piera. Oh, it's a fumble by two of the defenders. Oh, like I said, it's in a lovely bit of space there. A lovely bit. Oh, oh lovely save. Oh, that was really a bad moment. A very bad moment for us, but Maitland Niles takes it back a goal. Decent enough. I thought Lacazette might have been the one to just go and score. That's why I was kind of trying to make sure I never scored, but I failed with that. So I tried went for a tackle, but I was late with both of them, and the keeper's no getting back. It was really sloppy, very sloppy play from us. We don't want any more of that, you know. We've still got the goal ahead, so Sturridge just go. We might live to regret the first chance that Sturridge missed if they've already got a goal back. First goal we've let in all season. Arsenal coming off a defeat against Man United. That's just seen Man United, I think we're going 1-0 there. Uh, but they're coming off a defeat from Man United. So hopefully we can also defeat them and put Arsenal down a peg. Because oh, like, they're playing a weak inside and they beat us and that could change our course of the season. A draw would still be a wonderful thing. But with the side that Arsenal's playing, we need to show them. Don't underestimate. Alright, oh, lovely play. Very great play. Oh, looks like we could be learning a wee bit there. Oh, don't score. Oh. We're a bit too much down that left. The right is got so much space, I think they've just realised that themselves. I've noticed I've missed a lot of challenges, so quite sorry for that. Oh, great little play there. Love a little play. Sturridge needs someone to back up. Johansson cutting that little space, never mind. Darman's here, Darman's here. Anyone going to jump into this space? Oh, who is that? Was that Johansson or is that Piero? Oh, Ozo, someone. He looks like he's not getting the, as much as he wants out of Emery. But here he is today. Oh. Oh. Even in FIFA, Emery isn't even starting Ozo. That's not looking that good. Ozo's one of those players that probably could do us and near the end so we'd probably need to get another goal back. Arsenal now face Burnley in their next match. Someone who we have beaten this season, you know, two 0 in the last game. Very good showing by us. The Dortmund have signed Higuain, that's a very interesting thing. Cause in this current moment in time, whilst recording, he looks like he's set to join Chelsea as it's now been confirmed that Morata has joined. A of an eight uh, forty eight point five million Pound by allowed. Oh, Adrian making sure it doesn't try and go. Oh, Johansson, he's got to play Piera there. Oh, Monreal's got to try and stop Bowen here. Oh, oh, I thought that was an own goal. I was begging. He's been a handful. Off the bar and in the goal. And start it! Oh, the, oh that counts off. It's not even a pass, it was just a loose ball. And Dicko may have to come on eventually, like. Because it's just. You know, Sturridge is slowly running out. I think I'm going to make a sub now, you know. Just to make sure this game doesn't. Swing into their favour, so got to bring Powell on. Or bring Malinkovic on and Niardico. Powell linked at the current moment's time, linked to Celtic or the Sevco. 
Uh, you, you probably know I'm a Celtic fan at this point. One of you know me in real life or two. For the banner that I have on my YouTube channel. Which is been updated recently. Um, Craze Games is a channel that made my other banner. So yeah. Also, we're, we're over 100 subscribers. I'm very thankful for that. At this current moment in time, we're on 137. Um, by the time the video comes out, don't know. Could be less, could be more. Don't know, but I'm very grateful be for being over 100 subs. I know it's a very small milestone. It's just been on YouTube for a decent amount of time now. So, yeah. So it's the fourth time I've hit 100 subs because I always keep going under, but now that I'm like almost 40 subs above 100, I think it's set in stone now. Oh, and bought my equalize. <laughs> as soon as I said that, also almost equalized. That's not what I want. I think those subs have came on perfect timing now, because that's just more pace. And that hopefully means we can hit a really good counter attack. We know that Milinkovic Savage, uh, not Milinkovic Savage, David Milinkovic loves a late goal. We all know that from last season. Nothing for that little challenge there. Oh, we've not got long left. Got to make sure none of this happens now. And we win it. Arsenal getting the little goal it made us a bit nervous, especially in the 87th minute. But still, such a great result. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.